episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today, I'm working with the Label Editor program and I wanna show you how to install additional printers. So if you're like me, I have multiple of the Epson LabelWorks printers connected to my computer so I can use them for various different purposes or applications. But how do you actually install additional printers? So I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and dive in here. So I've already downloaded the latest version of the label editor software. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go on my computer and access that, okay? So I've got that open here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the setup file. Now it's either gonna say setup.exe or setup applications, the same one you used to install the program. So we're gonna go ahead and just find that and launch that. All right, so now you're gonna get this screen. You're gonna get two options. It says, do you wanna modify or remove? And we want to modify, okay? So we're gonna click modify, and now it's gonna give us the same screen that we saw when we first installed. Do you wanna install the application and the driver or the driver only? That's what we wanna do, driver only. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, okay? Again, we're just gonna follow the on-screen little install wizard prompts to move along this. So I'm gonna agree to the terms, and now I'm going to select the printer from the dropdown. Okay, so again, I've got my printer here. It does tell me on the front of all of our printers what model number it is, so just be sure you're selecting the correct one. So I'm gonna hit that, and I have the ZLW-Z5010. Perfect. That's the one I need, so I can go ahead and click Next. Now note, I do not have this printer plugged into my computer yet. That is important, so make sure you don't plug the printer into the computer until the install wizard tells us to. So I'm gonna hit Next. It's gonna think for a minute, and because of this particular printer, it's gonna ask me how I wanna install. This one, I can network it, or I can do USB, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna select USB, and go with that. All right, now this is the screen that says, okay, plug in your printer and turn it on. So I've got my USB port plugged into my computer. I've got my ports labeled, so I need to plug it into that one. I'm just gonna take this, plug it in, perfect. And then you can go ahead and turn the printer on. Wonderful. Now the install wizard will just think for a minute and get its little ducks in a row. You'll hear the sound, and then after a minute, you'll get what I call the blue check of happiness, saying, yay, you've installed your printer, everything went good. So I'm gonna hit finish, and we're good to go. So now I can go ahead and get to labeling with the next printer or whatever I need to do. I told you it was easy. If you have questions on the Label Editor program, the Z5010, or any other printers in our lineup, please feel free to reach out. We are happy to help. Thanks again, and happy labeling.